Do I have a girlfriend? Do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy. Go by Drew Yes, sir. I was fell. That was trash. I y'all back with another big body banger. I'm not wanna do right right now because I was just brushing my hand off, like putting on the juke right right now. You know they're so comfortable. You know what you can do, buy two, get the third one for free. Or oh, bundle up. Listen, bundle up. Say South $50, that's all I'm gonna tell you. But I'm not gonna put on a Jurag because y'all always be saying, oh my god, don't wear the do rag. You look so good without the do rag, so ladies. What's up? How you doing? But anyways, I haven't done one of these in so long. Like, I feel like I haven't, like, ever since I got, like, subscribers, I haven't done a Q&A. Like, I did a Q&A when I was probably, like, 20,000, I think. That was the last one, maybe. But ever since then, I don't think, I feel like my new subscribers, you don't know me. You don't know me. So, I'm, I'm going to do a Q&A right now. I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. I told you on my Instagram, at Juver underscore. If you don't follow me, go follow me right now. Hey, DM me. I want to talk. I want, I want to be your friend. Ladies, if you're over the age of 18, DM me a picture of you, okay? I love you. Already, not even know you. But I told you on my story to send me some questions for the Q and A. So I'm gonna go through these. I haven't looked at them. I'm gonna go through them, see if they're nice and juicy for me. I'm gonna spill the beans on some stuff because my parents do watch my videos, so I can't tell y'all everything. You feel me? Sorry, mom and dad. But yeah, we're just about to hop in here, have a nice little time. I'm gonna expose myself to y'all, but it's not really exposing myself because y'all should know everything about me at this point. You feel me? Oh, this one's kind of fits it, I guess. Somebody said, "What hair products do I use?" You see this brush right here? You see them do rags over there? You feel me? That's it. Well, no, sorry. Hold on. I I just started using this, John. It's like coconut oil. I found it in like my closet where my mom got her stuff at, and I kind of just stole it. But that's why my hair is kind of shiny right now. You feel me? What do you check? But yeah, that's really it. Yeah, I really put that coconut oil thing in probably like once a month. I'm not gonna hold y'all. Would you put a relationship before your career? That's a pretty good question. No. Not right now. Not in my life now. You feel me? I've only been in one relationship, and I'm, there's lit I'm literally scrolling through here, and 70% of the questions is about that. So I might answer that question. I don't know because I really I don't want to, and I don't think I have to, but I might still do it just so y'all stop asking me. Um, but girls, dudes are distraction. Dudes, females are distraction. Once you get like in a relationship, you're not going to be as productive or as like driven, tunnel visioned as you were before. Well, that that I've noticed, right? Um, so would I put a relationship before my career right now? No. What's your actual weight and height? Be completely honest, please. Y'all think I'm capping. Why not tell y'all I am six, seven and a half? If any of y'all have met me in person, I'm dead six, seven. Like you y'all all be looking at me. Like, oh my god, that's that YouTuber. Like for real. And I weigh like 172, something like that. You feel me? We all see you liking diamond Florida snaps. Please explain yourself. What? Where the heck this snow come from? If I turn, can I, should I turn around? What the? F hey, y'all look at this. Where did this come from? It was literally sunny just now. If anybody knows that house, please don't come rob me. I, I'm not into that. I mean, not rob me. You can't rob me. I'll really pop daddy in that. You sound stupid. Where do your moms? But about the whole diamond flawless thingy, bro. What? I don't even have her on Snapchat. I literally, if I follow you on Instagram, I'm liking your picture. Like, I'm not a ghost follower. I see literally if y'all watch me on instagram scroll double tap scroll double tap even if i don't know you if i don't like the picture scroll double tap it's just automatic you feel me i don't i don't like it like come on come on who's your celebrity crush <laughs> i got a lot i'm not gonna hold y'all but i don't at the same time you feel me um honestly who's my celebrity crush does it have to be an instagram celebrity or like a regular celebrity all right, okay, I'm gonna tell y'all this. I tell everybody this. My favorite, like, fake girl, I call them fake girls, like the plastic girls, like, freaking, uh, um, Amber Rose, um, who's all the, y'all know what I'm talking about, the big old booty girls that got Dr. Miami to hook them up. I'm, that's the fake girls I talk about, like, the plastic girls. My favorite plastic girl out of them all is Dream Doll. She looks so, oh my god, I don't know why I like her, like, it's just her face, like, her body, anybody can get her body. Lily would, like, $25,000, anybody can get her body. Her, I don't know. I just like her face. And I don't even like light skins. Y'all know this. I like my brown skin queens. But, I don't know. Her lips. I don't know. Dream dog. 
Come on, man. What college did I go to? I went to Albany, Harvard, and Yale all at the same time. I also went to Rutgers. Um, yeah, all at the same time. I passed in like what two days, something like that. So I dropped out because it was too easy for me. For me, um, yeah. How many girls have I actually hit up on the monkey app? <sighs> so hard, so hard to name all of them. So many. No, I don't, bro. I literally listen. Y'all swear. I think I said this before. I don't. I don't DM these girls. I don't hit these girls up. I don't want these girls on a monkey app, man. For real. Like y'all see me doing the pickup line videos where I get their numbers, I get their Instagram, all that stuff. I don't text them. If they text me, I still don't text them. I'm not curving them. I'm just curving them. You feel me? I maybe out of the all the times I've been doing monkey app, I probably have followed five, six of them, maybe. But I don't text them. I don't DM them. We're not like buddy, buddy. You feel me? Like. It's just whatever, like, I got them, and I had them. Not on, like, no, no, like, rude stuff, you feel me? It's just, like, I don't I don't want them. It's for the video, like, you feel me? Like, I feel like y'all think I really be out here just, as soon as I get the girl, I get their number, and I really text them and start, like, becoming friends with these people. Like, no, I don't. I don't remember the last person I asked about. Sorry. All right, next question. Did you use steroids? No, bro. I know, listen, I know it can be hard to believe because I'm so jacked. But no, I never used steroids in my entire life, except for the fact that I've been using it for the past 20 years. How many times a day do you wash your face? Like, why did my face look ashy? Hold on. I swear I'm not ashy. Lotion in my hand. Y'all remember my old videos where I used to look ashy, but I will put on lotion? I still look... I still look ashy. It's the light. Y'all know I'm not ashy. I just put on... I'm not ashy. What was the question? How many times a day you wash your face? Bro, two. When I take a shower and when I wake up in the morning, no, pr three, four. Every time I brush my teeth, and I brush my teeth a lot because I wear Invisalign. Well, I wear retainers. I just finished my Invisalign. So, like, seven times a day, I'm not going to hold y'all. But I just wash it with face. I mean, with face. I wash it with water, so it's not serious. What made you start doing monkey videos? I think I've said this before. Basically, right. Sorry, quick wave check. Just making sure I'm still spinning. Um, Basically, right, me, my cousins, my whole family, and some of my cousins was um, on vacation in Florida. Um... I think it was last July, something like that. I don't even know. And they downloaded this app. It was like the monkey app, right? And all of us like downloaded it at the same time. And we was just on there, just like chilling, like asking people like random questions. I think we was asking people, bro, if you could name three Bible verses or something like that. I don't even know. We were just asking them like mad random questions. And I'm thinking about, it, I'm like, yo, I can make videos on this. This is pretty funny. And I think people would like it. This is before, like, I didn't know that people actually made um, monkey app videos before this, but I only found out recently, not recently. Maybe like a couple months ago that people used to make monkey app videos before me. I thought I was like the trend starter, but I'm not, obviously. But, um, yeah, so this is, I didn't even know how people used to make it. And I'm like, yeah, I can make, th these would be funny videos. I think people would like them. Not knowing before that people was actually making these videos and people was liking, th liking them. So, yeah, that's kind of what made me start. We was on vacation, downloaded the app. I'm like, yo, this is pretty fun. I can make a video on this. Made a video on it. Video, did, the first video didn't do too good. Second video did a height. Third video did a height. Then I did a rate me one to ten, something like that, and I jump blew up. And ever since then, monkey eye videos have been my go-to. They're pretty fun to make. You guys seem to like them. Everybody's always like, "Oh, why are you always making monkey eye videos? Monkey eye video this, monkey eye video that." Cause you watch them. You hear me? You watch them, and I like making them, and you like watching them. So does every other person that watches my freaking channel. I'll be doing some Omegle videos too. Um, if y'all excited for that, make sure you leave a like right now, you feel me? I'll be doing some Omegle videos. And when I move, when I move, oh, I didn't even tell y'all. Y'all don't even know I'm moving. Oh, you don't even know I'm moving. Ooh. You know who does know? The people that follow me on you now. You feel me? Younow.com slash juvie. I'll be going live every Saturday. We'll be talking, we'll be chatting, I'll be giving one Jew rights, all that stuff. So go to younow.com slash juvie. Become a fan of me. Cause we be having fun on there. I'm not gonna hold y'all. But I did tell that actually I'll get into that later. I'll get into that later. How did you and what made you start YouTube? People are asking, like, hey, well, how do you start a YouTube channel? Do it. Just literally create the account, put up a video. How did I start it? What I literally I didn't want to be a YouTuber. Like when I was a kid, like 14, 13, 14, I wanted to be a YouTuber. Like I, I used to um <laughs> I had this channel called The Crafting Bot. It's a Minecraft account. It's still up. Y'all can find it. It's called The Crafting Bot or just Crafting Bot or something like that. I made Minecraft like gaming videos. And back then, my mom didn't let us play video games during the weekdays. So um, me being wanting to be a consistent uploader, I had like 10 subscribers. I wanted to be consistent and provide for all of my fans. You feel me? All 10 of them, including all of them being my family. Um, I used to sneak in my room and record Minecraft videos and I'd be like if you watch my videos like literally after this video search up crafting bot 
and watch my videos, I'm literally whispering because if my mom found out I was playing video games during the week, I was getting beat and probably never playing Minecraft again. So I was like, hey guys, it's the Crafty Body here, back with another video. Like literally it was bad. But oh, what was I saying all that for? Oh yeah, cause um, I didn't want to be a YouTuber. Like when I first when I first started my channel, it was called J Aesthetics, right? This is after the Crafty Mod, cause I kind of took a break between that or whatever. Me and my friend had another channel, but that didn't even whatever. whatever. So I had J Aesthetics, right? Uh, that was the name of it. I started it solely just to put up my transformation video. That was my first ever video I put up on that channel. It's still up. It's still up. It has like 1.4 million some views on it. It's literally the first video that you see on my channel is my transformation video. I literally only made the YouTube channel to put up that video. I didn't want to be a YouTuber. I didn't want to do all that. It's just when I first started working out, I used to watch all these transformation videos. So like during my transformation journey, I was taking pictures just so at the end of it, I can make a transformation video for like people like me who wanted to watch the transformation video. You feel me? I feel like I'm talking fast. But yeah, I was only supposed to, I only wanted to upload that video and that video maybe got like 300 views within like three months or something like that i mean it was cool i didn't have no subscribers but it was, it was 300 views it was like dang 300 people watched this and i kind of let it chill but then like after like three months or something like that it just blew up out of nowhere and i'm like yo what the heck what in the tarnation it got like 10,000 views i'm like what the heck so i started uploading like more fitness videos more fitness videos next thing you know the video was at like 400,000 views and i was uploading more fitness videos i'm like yo this is this is cool yeah that's, that's kind of how i started um I, like i said I, I didn't start to become a youtuber i started just to put up that one video and i blew up and i just decided to keep going i guess are you going to upload what the instagram girls replied bro listen not all of them replied a couple of them replied but they wasn't spicy enough you feel me i wanted it to be like spicy where it's like you feel me it's entertaining to watch but it was i mean it was cool i don't talk to none of them anymore i was kind of hyped that they responded in the first place but the one real girl i wanted to respond did not respond so if she had responded i would have made the video but since she didn't respond i didn't make it um i'm gonna do a part two i damn like people that might actually text back uh, let me know if you guys want me to do that actually y'all asked this question so many times literally y'all are you still with her are you still with the other girl the girl from the monkey up boy from Houston? no no y'all want me to explain why we broke up it's it's literally it's it's not your, it's none of your business just leave me alone oh my god no but to answer your question no this is for everybody who keeps asking me i'm like every time somebody dms me this i'm sending them to this video right no me and amber are not together anymore right nothing like bad happened where somebody cheated or freaking something stupid no none of that crap happened but i'm not gonna explain y'all what happened it was i can tell y'all right now it was nothing crazy like y'all thinking like oh my god she cheated on me oh i cheated on her oh she's close she's no it was none of that you feel me it was none of that none none of that none of that none of that okay we're not together anymore boom bada bang that's the end of the freaking conversation you hear me out of all the monkey mountain queens you spit game at which one is my favorite Ooh, because I've talked to some really good looking girls on a monkey yet, but like I would never pursue them, but they look really good. Like, if you look at my, th I'm about to look at my thumbnails. I put all like the best looking. So, girl, if you're watching this, if any of, if any girl that's been one of my thumbnails in my videos is watching this, you was the best, you was who I thought was the most attractive in that video. So, yeah, you can feel a little for me, you know what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, honestly, there's been so many good looking ones that I can't really pick one um yeah it's been so, it's been it's yeah there's been some real good looking girls i'm not gonna hold y'all at all like real good looking like i'm hungry now if i had to pick what instagram model would you get pregnant and start a family channel with that's pretty hard to be some good looking girls on instagram um boom let's see this girl, no, it's this girl. I never, I always forget her freaking Instagram, but she always pops up on my explore page. And I fall in love every time I see her. She hasn't texted me back, bro. I sound thirsty right now, nah. But for real, this this girl right here, oh my. Listen, I don't want y'all to like text her and tell her I'm saying all this stuff, but she is so attractive to me. Like I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'ma do. She don't text me back it's no it's fine y'all no because i really y'all better not send this listen to me J jonathan thomas whatever the heck your name is that's watching this and you thinking about oh i'm gonna like, screen record this and send this no don't do it because she gonna think i'm thirsty i'm not thirsty i'm desperate i'm not desperate i love you i don't love you yet but i want you to love me please 
and she got a fitness page. I'll, I'll put a screenshot of her freaking Instagram right there, right now. I put her in one of my videos before. I think I was DMing Instagram models or something like that, but yeah, she never texted me back. It's kind of depressing every day. I wake up and check my DMs and I don't see a response. It's fine though. Listen, I'm telling y'all, if, if any of y'all send this to her, I swear I'm deleting my channel. I delete, she cannot know that I like her, okay? I don't even like how I love her, but she can't know that, so shut up. Delete whatever, stop the screen recording right now. I swear on everything. I'm not playing with you. I I don't even want to put this in there. Y'all's y'all's gonna do it. No, the girl, listen. I'll explain everything in a DM, so just text me back. Dang, I lost track. I thought I forgot this was a QA. I was lost on her Instagram page again. Dang, that's sad. Who's your YouTube and Instagram crush? Honestly, I'm not gonna hold y'all. I kinda answered the Instagram one already, but the YouTube one, I don't even have a YouTube crush. Like who, what, what girl on YouTube do I say I want? Or I think it's like, oh my God, I need you. Like before when I was, before I had like YouTube or whatever, I thought Corey Ravon, whatever her name is, was like the bomb. Now, I mean, she's all right. She ain't like, oh my God, I want you. It's like, she all right. Um, who else? Um, I can't think of none like YouTubers that was like, bro, I want you or like I need, or I don't, not need you, but like, I don't have a YouTube crush. Do I have a girlfriend? The answer to that question is no, I don't. Um, I think I told y'all in the beginning of this video before I got distracted with telling y'all to follow me on uh, you now, you now .com slash you there, follow me. Cause I'll be going live and I'll be talking, I'll be spilling beans. We'll be going giveaways, all that stuff, man. Follow me on you now. Every Saturday I'll be live at six o'clock PM Eastern Standard Time. But anyways, I told them, I don't think I told y'all on my YouTube or my Instagram, but I am moving to Tampa in April of this year. I'm moving by myself. I'm gonna vlog it all. I'm going in February to go look at apartments for my dad. So I'm gonna vlog all that stuff. You feel me? Y'all wanna see that? I know you do. Leave a like right now if you wanna see that. Why that has anything to do with that question that you just asked me? Because I'm moving and I don't want a girlfriend over here. First of all, I don't want a girlfriend like at all right now. I'm really like focused on my goals right now. And females are a distraction. Well, anybody's really a distraction because it's not really like bad to have distractions, but when a distraction stops you from being as productive as you were before, or even like a lot less productive, like it's obviously gonna stop you a little bit. I just don't want that type of thing in my life right now. I, I just wanna focus, get my money, do what I gotta do, you for me. Now I do, you for me, I do be lonely sometimes. Like I need myself a little baby girl, like a little brown skin queen or something like that. But like, I, ain't, I ain't pushing for it, especially being here. Maybe when I move, I would consider getting a girlfriend, but um, not right now. No, not at all. And honestly, um, it's really funny. <laughs> it's actually very funny. I feel like, I don't know if y'all ever watched Hannah Montana when y'all was younger. Well, a lot of y'all is probably young. You're probably still younger, actually. But yeah, Hannah Montana. I feel like Hannah Montana, to be honest, I'll be living a double life. Like, every single girl I talk to now, like, if I ever talk to a girl, like, if a girl come up to me, like, at a gym, or if I go up to a girl, I don't really go up to girls. If any type of freaking communication with a female happens, they don't know I have a YouTube. I don't tell them I have a YouTube. I lie, I say I just own businesses, which is true. I just tell them I own businesses and I work. I don't tell them I have YouTube. I don't tell them Instagram. I don't tell them none of that. You feel me? Because I don't, people treat you different when you have like some type of clout. Like I'm not even big, but people treat me different and I don't like that. So I literally, I'll be living a double life. Like I'll be FaceTiming these people. They be like, what you doing? I'll be like, yeah, you feel me? I'm working. They be like, what you working on? Stuff, you know what I mean? And once, no, a couple times, it'd be funny because they'd be facing me like, Josiah, is this you on YouTube? And then I delete their contacts. I'm not going to talk to them no more. You feel me? I don't want a girl that's like social media famous. I feel like they're all, now, watch me fast forward this like 10 months and I'm married to like a freaking Instagram YouTube celebrity. I'm not against it, but I don't want one. You feel me? I'm not against it, but I don't want one. That makes sense, right? I'm not against it, but I don't want one. Yeah. But basically, I um I don't want my girl, especially in the beginning. No, definitely not in the beginning. I don't. Well, she she's obviously gonna find out, but definitely in the beginning, I don't want a girl that um knows about my YouTube or my Instagram or nothing like that. Um, honestly, my dream girl would be somebody whose parent. I told this to my cousin before. My dream girl would be a, a girl whose parents owned a massage like parlor or something like that, where she grew up in it, so she know how to get a nice little massage. You know what I'm saying? So I be needing a massage on my back. Like, I'll just be wanting a nice massage sometime. I just want a girl that can, like, you feel me? Really give me that. You feel me? But massage people don't make enough money, so she gotta be, that's why I said she gotta be raised in that environment so she knows how to do it. But she gotta be like a doctor or a lawyer or something like that, so she could be making money, because I can't be the only one making mad bread. Like, you feel me? I don't care. You could be a stay at home mom, I don't care. But, like, I need to know I wasn't 
your only option. Like I'm like me taking care of you wasn't the only option. Like I was raised, my mom was a stay at home mom, so she like I'm that's fine with me. She could be a stay at home mom, I don't care. But I just need to know that she wasn't stupid and dependent on me the entire time. Like she had a life and she had freaking goals and some type of drive before I like was able to like whatever you know what i'm saying all right y'all y'all know what i'm saying but yeah i think that's about it if you guys enjoyed this make sure you leave a like right now i'll try to keep you guys more updated with my life if you guys want like with more q a's and stuff like that maybe a little bling a little bling a little asmr dude i'm saying but um yeah that's about it make sure you have some jewel rack too got two good throw for free bundle up say 50 dollars find me on instagram if you want to be part of these uh q a's that i do more often probably not but probably so and um i'm gonna see y'all <laughs> Ayo, hey, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline They choose I, cause I'm way above you The waves make the haters love you When the ladies come through